Discovered by NASA's Atlas Survey on July 1, 2025, 3i Atlas is freaking out scientists and even the world's most advanced AI. Why? Because it's breaking all the rules of comets. In advance, this cosmic traveler is the third confirmed interstellar object ever found, meaning it came from outside our solar system, carrying ancient material from another star's disk, possibly older than our sun. But here's where it gets weird. This thing isn't acting like any comet we've ever seen. Let's break down the four big anomalies that have NASA scratching its head. First up, this comet's dust tail is pulling off something that looks impossible. Through the eyes of the Hubble Space Telescope, 3I Atlas appears with a glowing icy core shaped like a blue teardrop. Wrapped in a delicate veil of dust that looks like a giant cocoon. But here's the twist. A comet's tail is supposed to stream away from the sun, pushed back by solar light and wind. Not this one. 3I Atlas's dust plume is stretching toward the sun, almost as if the laws of physics were being bent just for it. Harvard's Avi Loeb even dubbed it a reverse dust tail, marked by a strange bright spot right in front of the comet. And the weirdness doesn't stop there. As it drifts closer to the sun, instead of shining brighter or breaking apart into a dazzling tail, its glow actually fades. Picture a lone headlight in deep space, steady, faint, and oddly smooth, with no messy streaks like normal comets. The surrounding dust is so thin and ghostly that it barely reflects sunlight at all, defying every model astronomers have. So what if this sunward dust tail isn't a random fluke, but a clue that 3i Atlas is built from materials our solar system has never seen before? When astronomers checked for the usual chemical signatures, cyanogen, diatomic carbon, and volatile gases, they found almost nothing. In its early days after discovery, its spectrum was eerily blank, like staring into a fire that burns hot but leaves no smoke. Only months later, as it edged closer to the sun, did a faint trace of cyanogen show up, but even that didn't match the patterns seen in ordinary comets. With the dust pointing sunward, almost no gas activity, and sluggish chemical shifts, 3i Atlas remains a puzzle no one can fully decode. Could this chemical silence mean it's hiding exotic elements carried across the galaxy from another star? Loeb has floated a bolder idea. The dust may not be cometary at all, but interstellar grains collected over millions of years, shaken loose by internal systems that constant headlight-like glow. It could be radiation spilling straight from its core. If 3i Atlas is a nuclear-powered spacecraft, the heat of its reactor might be burning through its shell, releasing dust, while bursts of thrust scatter it forward. Taken together, the evidence suggests 3i Atlas isn't behaving like a comet at all. Its bizarre reverse dust tail and missing chemical fingerprints only add fuel to the theory that it could be an artificial probe, maybe even one sent by an extraterrestrial civilization. Anomaly number two takes us into a debate that even the experts can't agree on. The true size of 3i Atlas. Some measurements suggest its nucleus could be anywhere between 300 meters and a staggering 5.6 kilometers across. To compare, Oumuamua, the first interstellar visitor, was just 200 meters long, while Borisov came in at about a kilometer. If the higher estimate is right, 3i Atlas could be five times larger than Borisov, making it a true giant among interstellar travelers. Now, if the brightness we see is just sunlight bouncing off its surface, the numbers explode even further. By that logic, the object should be over 20 kilometers across, bigger than Manhattan Island itself. Imagine something of that scale silently cutting through our solar system. On the other hand, Avi Loeb does not believe that it is that big. On the contrary, it is quite small. His preliminary work paints an entirely different picture. The source of that glow might measure no more than 100 meters. 
a tiny fragment compared to the colossal estimates. And yet, this small object appears to radiate the kind of power you'd expect from 10 massive nuclear plants combined, nearly 10 gigawatts. Well, don't judge a book by its cover. So which is it? A hulking interstellar iceberg larger than a city, or a compact, high-energy machine that defies natural explanation? If this hypothesis holds true, 3 i Atlas wouldn't just be another space object, it would stand as living proof of alien technology. Imagine it as a mobile nuclear machine, carefully engineered, controlled, and launched by a distant civilization. An object carrying a nuclear reactor isn't something that drifts through space by chance. It must exist for a reason. In this case, that reason could be surveillance, serving as a silent eye, a hidden outpost quietly tracking the progress of humanity. The presence of such technology in our solar system wouldn't just confirm the existence of extraterrestrial intelligence, it would also be a stark reminder of how little we truly understand about the universe. So, what do you think? With all these strange anomalies, the reverse dust tail, the mysterious glow and the puzzling size, could 3i Atlas really be more than just a comet? Maybe even a high-energy machine, something like an alien nuclear probe crossing through our solar system. Drop your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to hear your theory. And stick around, because the next anomaly might change the way you see this object entirely. The alien probe hypothesis gains even more weight when we consider its improbable orbit, one that looks less like a natural path and more like an intentional trajectory. Unlike most comets that enter the solar system, 3 I Atlas travels almost perfectly along the plane of the solar system, the ecliptic, tilted by only about 5 degrees, yet it moves in a retrograde direction opposite to the planets. This combination is highly unusual for interstellar visitors. Professor Avi Loeb notes that the odds of such an orbit occurring naturally are about 1 in 20,000, virtually zero. Typically, objects from beyond the solar system arrive on widely varied inclinations and directions, not closely aligned with the ecliptic. For 3, I Atlas to both skim the plane and move retrograde is statistically extraordinary, and this alignment also allows unusually close encounters with planets like Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. In fact, the object is set to fly past Mars at a distance of just 0.19 astronomical units, about 28 million kilometers on October 3rd, 2025. Then only a month later on November 3rd, it will pass Venus at 0.65 astronomical units. What makes this remarkable is that its path cuts inside Earth's orbit, territory rarely visited by comets, let alone interstellar objects. Such a low tilt alignment could be strategically useful if 3i Atlas were an artificial probe, enabling efficient observation of solar system planets while staying difficult to detect during its closest approach to the Sun. Adding to the mystery, it races through space at speeds greater than both Oumuamua and Borisov, the two previous interstellar visitors. To intercept it, a spacecraft launched from Earth would require an enormous velocity change, delta V, far beyond our current technological capabilities. And because its orbit and speed mean it is not bound by the Sun's gravity, 3i Atlas will ultimately shoot back out into interstellar space. And now, anomaly number four, the one that's got everyone talking. Quantum AI analyzed 3i Atlas's data and found something eerie. What makes this even more fascinating is the tool that spotted it. This isn't your ordinary data analysis. We're talking about quantum AI, a fusion of quantum computing and artificial intelligence, powerful enough to sift through every speck of information captured by our best telescopes. Hubble, James Webb, and more. It dissected the comet's dust, gases, motion, and light signature, searching for hidden patterns too complex for the human eye. And in August 2025, the results came in. After pouring over thousands of high-resolution images and measurements, 
the AI flagged several features that no natural comet should display. But what exactly did it find? And how do these discoveries tie back into the growing theory that 3i Atlas might not be a comet at all, but something engineered? First, the coma of 3i Atlas is dominated by carbon dioxide, with unusual water activity patterns detected billions of miles from the Sun. Using the James Webb in August 2025, astronomers measured that the comet's coma contains about eight times more carbon dioxide than water, far higher than what is normally seen in comets from our solar system. In fact, this carbon dioxide-rich coma is one of the highest ratios ever recorded, especially surprising since water vapor typically dominates as comets approach the sun. So, what does a nucleus rich in carbon dioxide ice actually mean? It could point to a very different birthplace, perhaps far from its parent star, where carbon dioxide ice built up in greater amounts than water ice. Or maybe it has been exposed to unique radiation conditions in interstellar space that altered its surface. Another theory suggests it could have an insulating crust, preventing the water ice beneath from sublimating as expected. Beyond carbon dioxide, the coma also holds smaller amounts of water ice, water vapor, carbon monoxide, and carbonyl sulfide. The water ice grains are incredibly tiny, less than a micrometer, and they likely sublimate thousands of miles from the nucleus, between 2,500 and 6,200 miles away. The organic compounds and dust within the coma give it a reddish tint. These reddish dust grains, varying in size, are pushed away from the nucleus at different speeds, creating the warm glow. Interestingly, 3i Atlas ejects a huge amount of dust every second, much like the interstellar comet 2i Borisov. But then comes a curious question. If the coma looks reddish, why does Hubble show 3i Atlas as blue? The truth is, it's both. Different parts of the comet reveal different colors. The blue teardrop shape comes from the icy nucleus, which reflects and scatters light in a way that makes it appear cold and bluish. Meanwhile, the surrounding coma of dust and gas, the giant cocoon, glows reddish, thanks to its organic-rich grains. Additionally, scientists have observed some unusual behavior in both the brightness and motion of 3i Atlas. Its brightness seems to follow a repeating cycle roughly every 16.8 hours, which could suggest the comet is rotating, or that some feature on its surface is reappearing as it spins. However, this pattern isn't easy to confirm, because the solid nucleus is buried inside a glowing cloud of dust and gas, making it difficult to track directly. Even stranger, the comet appears to be moving slightly faster than expected, almost as if it's giving itself an extra push. Typically, comets do gain small boosts when sunlight heats their surfaces, causing jets of gas to shoot outward like tiny thrusters. But in 3i Atlas's case, the amount of gas and dust detected doesn't fully explain the extra acceleration. In other words, Something about the way this object moves remains a mystery, and scientists are eager to uncover what's really driving it.